something green and she had this summer dress it was, it was like blowing in the breeze it was quite beautiful really and there was a scent in the air jasmine and this beautiful smile would light up the room. Anyway, she goes, Father! Father! And I went, No! I'm not your father! And, and then, of course, I realised that she was referring to the clerical sense. And, and I said to her, what can I do for you, my child? And she goes, Father, I'm still a virgin. And I don't know how, how to move on from this. You know, how I can stay. I want to learn how, you know. Well. You can imagine thoughts going through my mind. Like, lock me up, officer. Throw away the key. Throw me in jail, never to be seen again. But of course, I wouldn't do such a thing. It's frowned upon by the clergy. Besides, I've got to find it yet. Uh, right, right. Oh, hello. This is good of you to join me. Where, where, where were we? Oh, yes. yes. I, I remember one day I was visiting a parishioner. A youngish woman, you know, in her early thirties, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful woman here. It matched her green eyes, as green, it's like green. <coughs> I said, I mentioned she was a beautiful girl. She played hard to get at first. But they all break in the end, don't they? Of course, it's frowned upon by the clergy, but if you know, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> uh, they'll never find the body anyway. 
I said, if they do, then lock me up, officer. Take me away. You know, throw me in jail with the scum of the earth and throw away the key. But, you know. Oh, fun times. Fun times. I, I remember I was delivering this sermon on the pulpit. It was sin or beget this or some such rubbish. It's, it's all smoke and mirrors, really, isn't it? Some people believe. Pull a rabbit out of a hat, really. Anyway, th there was this young girl, you see, in the third row. <coughs> <coughs> Must have been about 17. She was wearing this summer dress, I remember, flowing in the wind. It was beautiful. Flowers on it. She had this scent of wanting it, of fear. Took a lot to bury her, really. Got dirt under my fingernails, it took weeks to get it out. But, no. Yeah. What are they going to do? Lock me up, officer. Take me away. Throw me in jail. Whip me with chains and such. I'm not a bad man. No. Really. In fact, I... I I remember in seminary school, you know, it was a wonderful time, seminary school. It was, uh, good times, learning, camaraderie, and the buggery. <coughs> and the ablution blocks. There was a lot of homosexuality in the clergy back then. Still is, really. It's, uh, it's... Don't get me wrong, I'm not a pillow biter or anything, but... Each to their own. Anyway, there was this young girl, you see. Couldn't have been a lick over seven years old. A scullery maid. One of the poor families in the neighbourhood. She goes, Father! Father! I mean, what? I'm not your father! And then, of course, I realised she was referring... <coughs> 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 I said, lock me up, lock me up, officer, throw away the key, hang me from the tallest tree, you know, but no, everyone thought she'd run away, they'll, they'll never find her. And then I, I remember as a child, this sweet child that she was, reminded me of myself really as a child. I, I remember the judge saying to me, I'm going to lock you up 
I'm going to throw away the key. Your only choice is to join the priesthood. So I thought, why not? There's plenty of people that believe. Not a bad way to get out of going to jail. Could be worse, couldn't it? <laughs>